The idea that is in my heart that I want to share with you is that God is saying that His love is actually limitless. We serve a God without limits, a God without borders, a God that can never be limited in what He's doing, a God of abundance. And He's at one stage talking to His disciples and saying to them, you know what? We've all heard this story that you must love your neighbors. But the problem is you can't love your enemies. He said, but I'm telling you, I want you to go one step further. I actually expect from you to love your enemies. Do good to those people that hate you. Pray for them. God said there's a very specific reason why I'm asking you this. Because it's, it's actually all about who you are. Because I am God and you are my children. And therefore, I'm setting the example for you. So one of the examples that I want, uh, want to show you that you can look at is like the sun. Um, they, it, the sun was not just shining on the righteous people. And there wasn't like darkness on the evil people. God said no. The sun was shining on both good and evil people alike. And the same with the rain. He's not just blessing the righteous. He's even blessing the evil people. And he said, um, if we only love people that are doing good to us, there's actually nothing in it. Because the people of the world also do exactly the same. If you are good to me, then I will be good to you. But if you ignore me, then your performance wasn't good enough um, to pay for my love. And therefore, I will withdraw my love. God said, no, never be like that. Um, be like me. I've poured out my grace on you as people. And you didn't have to pay anything for it. It's, it's for free. You didn't have to perform for it. I just did it for you because I love you. Even while you were still my enemy. So I expect from you exactly the same. Because in those days, the tax collectors, they were looking down at the Jewish people. God said, don't ever be like that. Don't start to um, uh, classify people in, 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 in uh, your high status and I need you, therefore I will be good for you. But you are a low class person and therefore I'll, I don't love you. And then God is saying the, the very important thing. Jesus is saying this very important thing in verse 48. He said, be perfect. Be perfect in your love because my father is perfect and you are like he is. 1 John 4 verse 17. He said, 1 John 4 verse 17. If you behave like that, you will also have like boldness. You will have this boldness in the day of judgment. Because think of it. You just wanted to be Jesus for everybody. You just wanted his love to flow through you and bless everybody. Uh, the song that is in my mind is that the love of Jesus is so wonderful. The love of Jesus is so beautiful. This love, it's wonderful love. It's so high, you can't get over it. It's so low, the depth of that love. He literally saved us from the, the, the depths of hell. He was willing to sacrifice his whole life on that cross for you and me. That's the depth that he was willing to show his love. And then he said it so wide, you can't get around it. You will not escape God's love. Even if you're an, an atheist, even if you say now, even if you're standing there now saying, God, you don't exist. You, if you're very honest, there's so many good things that you still experience. You can't escape this love. He's loving you unconditionally. He's telling us, verse 46 in Matthew 5, 
if we love people and just unconditionally, we will grow in love. And that's what he's got in mind for us. So there's a reward in it for you and me to love people unconditionally. So I want to challenge you today to just go out and love your neighbor and even your enemy completely. I bless you in the lovely name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.